I'm carrying on my Lincolnshire journey by heading out to the rugged and remote coastline at Thedlethorpe. With the legacy of Tennyson such a strong part of the county's identity, it was decided that Lincolnshire should have its very own Poet Laureate, someone whose job it is to create verses about life here. And I've come to meet this modern day bard in one of the landscapes that's inspired him. Joel, you're a Poet Laureate, but you're not the Poet Laureate, are you? I mean, <laughs> no, what's no, no. your role exactly? Um, it's my job to... Uh, go around Lincolnshire, meet people, see places, write a poem every month and then yeah, do writing workshops, readings, that kind of thing. I assume you were always a poet, which is how you got this. I mean, sure, how, how yeah. did you apply and get this position? There can't be many of them around. <laughs> there aren't many jobs for poets, you might be shocked to, to find out. Um, no, I, I, I saw it advertised and I applied and I had an interview which I suppose is like a normal job interview except you also have to read a couple of poems um, and, uh, and yeah and they asked me to come along and do it which is which is wonderful I'm having a great time. And what have you written so far what's inspired you? Well it's my my first month so I've written one poem so far and that's actually about the beach where we are now. Um, I was here on holiday I was walking my dog along the beach and a bit further around it's a wildlife preserve lots of rare birds nesting that kind of thing so I thought yeah it'd be beautiful not a care in the world wide open skies beautiful English countryside um, and then I came across a sign on, on the beach here. Right here? Yeah, a Ministry of Defence warning sign saying if you find something in the sand, don't touch it, run as fast as you can, or words to that effect. And I thought, what an amazing contrast between this beautiful, verdant, protected countryside and then the threat of bombs. I took this as a challenge. My first poem was about someone finding something in the sand. Wow. Seeing what it is. Well, I'd love to hear a bit of the poem. We're standing here by the sign, the point of inspiration, so sure. it'd be great to hear it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's the job. <laughs> um, it doesn't have a title, because I'm not very good at titles, but it goes almost exactly like this. At Thedlethorpe, the sea goes out for miles, and England falls away beneath your feet, while concrete bunkers hidden in the dunes wait silently for rabbits to retreat. Amongst the drift of wood and broken shells, the path along the seaweed tide is lined with white on red official signs that warn that there'll be no reward for things you find. One scuffing school shoe thunks on something hard. He kneels down and starts to excavate. He feels it, metal buried in the sand. One hand digs deep, then pulls. He feels the weight. He stumbles on a sunken pile of kelp, turns with his ankle, spins and sprints away. Behind him sits the lump of metal, still. He knows that there'll be no reward today. He feels a burning in his throat and lungs. Imagined spitfires cover his retreat. At Thedlethorpe, the sea goes out for miles as England falls away beneath his feet.